Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this thing here. This is an ESS Air engine sound system from Sense Innovations. This one came from banggood.com. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go and have a look. And this is a machine that actually connects into your throttle channel on your receiver and then connects to these two speakers which are included in the kit and then outputs through these speakers the noise of the engine and also auxiliary noises too, things like machine guns and other pieces. So if you have a plane that you want to add engine sounds and make it sound more realistic when it's flying around, particularly those of us who fly scale aircraft but that have brushless motors, this is a great inexpensive way to do it. I have looked at these kind of systems before, but these kind of sound systems have been very expensive. So the fact that I could get something like this for less than 60 quid was definitely worth us to have a look at. Now, as it actually arrives, it comes in a little box with all the pieces in that you need. You get the sound system, which is basically a little computer with a memory in that you load the sound files onto. Uh, it has a large heat sink at the top because these things do get a little bit warm. Comes with two speakers. These have to actually be mounted on something large and flat. And we'll talk about the considerations when mounting in a moment. It comes with the Y cable to connect into your throttle channel and then it also comes with a little power jumper cable as well. It terminates in a JST lead from the module and then the other part is this thing here which for me who use Deans is great but you might have to make up a little one yourself if you're not using Deans. So this will actually plug into the battery and the other side of it then will plug into the ESC on the machine. So to put it together is very straightforward. There's only three things that you have to clip in you connect each of the speakers to the wires out of the back and then out of the front you have the power connector that we've just looked at and then you have two other leads one is for the throttle and one is for auxiliary one now we've actually got them plugged into our receiver here so we have the throttle channel so we've plugged the Y cable from the kit into the throttle channel one of the throttles is going to the ESS air and the other one is going to then just go to the normal ESC as you would every day. The other wire, which is this second one here, is going into my gear channel because that allows you to flick a switch on the transmitter and play a secondary sound. You do get the option to download software here. It's called RC Plus. I'll put a link in the description. And you can download other sound files from their website too. It includes lots of different things. And there's more plain sounds coming, so we'll have a wider choice, but there is an awful lot of options for RC cars. So if you're a remote control car enthusiast and you want the sound of a thumping V8 or those kind of things on your RC truck, then this is a really cute way to add it in. So let me show you how you actually plug this together. It's pretty straightforward. Now normally, of course, by plugging in uh, the power, we would actually power the receiver and the ESS Air from the 5 volt line, but we haven't got that. So what I'm going to do is just plug in battery eliminator circuit and pop that into the receiver. That'll just power all that side. There we go. And then I'm going to plug the power lead into a battery. Okay, so there we are, we're all powered up. So let me turn on the radio. And now we have our radio connected. So what will happen, and I need to keep my fingers on top of these speakers because they bounce around quite a lot. Um, and all of this is covered in the manual that you get with the device. It kind of goes through how you configure and connect everything up. Also goes through the routine here to actually calibrate it so that it's perfectly set for the throttle so that the engine noise starts and stops at the right point. But as I raise my throttle, let me put my fingers on top of these you'll hear the engine noise start. And then as I raise my throttle, and then lower my throttle, you'll hear the noise stop. I can also flip my gear switch because we have it plugged into here to that second connector and it will play the secondary sound in the file. So 
So that's obviously gunfire. Now you can actually have two memories in this thing. So that was the first one. If I press the button here to change the second one, now when I start it, we'll get the second preloaded sound, which is slightly different. Turn the throttle off. And again, we have a secondary sound. very big machine gun fire. Now you can change these sounds around. So to change them, we have these two little buttons on the top of the device, a plus and a minus. If you just briefly press the minus button, then it switches between the two memories. And it has these two memories on board, so you can change it to how you feel. So it does mean that you can install it into a plane and use it on that, and then you can install it onto a truck. So that's how it works. It's pretty straightforward stuff. I would recommend uh, calibrating the throttle and going through that process because at the moment the way I have it is when my throttle is at the very lowest position we get nothing. If I move the throttle up very slightly and then down. So I would calibrate it for the throttle to be just above idle for an uh, electric system and that way the engine sound isn't running when your prop isn't turning which is a little bit more realistic. Final couple of points then before we finish the video. When you're actually mounting this, do be careful. Um, this is an amplifier and these are speakers and they get a little bit warm. The stuff that we've been doing here, it's still room temperature, it's fine. But for the best sound, you need to remove the sticky part of the speaker and actually stick it onto something that's as flat and as big as you possibly can because that then makes the surface that it's connected to act as a sounding board. So that's the first thing. Second thing is be aware that they produce a lot of vibration. So you'll need to mount them away from sensitive flight controllers and electronics. They're also gonna be getting a little bit warm. So put them in a place where they are gonna get a little bit of airflow. And if they're not, then cut um, a little vent in the fuselage near them just to let that heat vent out. In my experience playing with this stuff, they don't get too warm, but the higher the voltage on the battery and obviously the louder you have the volume set with these volume buttons, the hotter they get. So at the moment I'm running it on a 3S pack, it'll run up to 6S, but it gets a lot warmer on 6S because it's producing and using a lot more power. The last thing for me to mention is when you're mounting it, also consider electromagnetic interference. For those who are using flight controllers that have sensitive magnetometers, these are two great whacking magnets in the back of these two, and there's a couple of um, electric currents flying around in the system as well. So I would always recommend put this well out of the way, but just keep in mind the central gravity, uh, because as you put these two things into the craft, it isn't a particularly heavy piece of kit, but as you put it in, it will affect the central gravity, so you might have to reposition your battery slightly. But in summary, if you have a remote control aircraft or a remote control car, and you want to make it sound a little bit more like the real thing, then this, for the money, is now a great option. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless 360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.